Hey everyone, Sam here with another quick video about how to set up conditional logic for WooCommerce product variations. But let's back up for a moment. What exactly is conditional logic? Well, it's much easier for me to show you than to explain it. So here's an example of a business card variable product. You can see this product has a lot of different options that you can choose from, including these radio buttons here, use pre-built templates, or upload my own design. And you can see that down here at the bottom of the page, this will change and update based on whichever selection I choose. This is conditional logic in action. If I choose the top option, we see all of these fields. And if I choose the bottom option, we see just this upload field. There are literally countless ways that you could utilize this feature. So to give you some more inspiration, I'll show you a few more options from our demo site. For example, this training course product uses conditional logic to allow an upload field for a student card or proof of age. And it also uses it down here. When you select in person, you can choose lunch options or check out this gift card where the address box changes depending on whether you need an electronic gift voucher or a gift card sent by post. So to enable this, I'm using our WooCommerce product options plugin. And today I'll show you how to set this up on your own website so you can add this feature to your products. To follow along with this tutorial, you can try out the admin demo by visiting our website, or you can simply purchase a copy of the plugin for your own site. In either case, use the first link in the description below. And by the way, it comes with a 30 day money back guarantee as well. So let's get started. Now, of course, for all of this to work, you need to have a WordPress website with WooCommerce already installed. If you haven't done that yet, check out this big video I made where I walk you through all the steps to start your website from scratch. If you're purchasing WooCommerce product options, follow these steps to install and activate it on your website. If you're just trying the admin demo today, skip ahead to step two using the video timestamps. After checkout, you'll get an email with the zip file and a product key for activation. In the WordPress admin, go to plugins, add new plugin, and upload the plugin zip file that you just downloaded. Click install and then activate. In the setup wizard, enter your license key and click activate. If you don't see the setup wizard, use this link to go to the plugin settings page, click on settings and enter your license key here. Navigate to products, product options. Then you can either add a new group by clicking this button here, or you can edit an existing one. I've created this group size and color swashes for this video. So I'll click edit. You can give your group a name and you can choose which products you want to show this group on. So basically all of these options will be applied to these products. If you prefer, you can display globally on all products and then you can exclude certain products using this box here. But in this case, I'm just going to show it on my t-shirt product. For this tutorial, we'll use the example of a t-shirt that has multiple color and size options, but the color options will only be visible after the customer makes a size selection. And there are different color palettes depending on which size the customer chooses. So to do this, we need an option type for radio buttons, and then we need several option types for color swashes, which will enable to appear depending on the first selection. First, we have choose a size, which is the radio buttons that you saw before. So I gave it the name choose a size for the customer to see, and I click this display button. Then I chose radio buttons, but note that this plugin has many different option types, including checkboxes, image buttons, file upload boxes, date picker, and pricing formulas. You can choose really any or all of these and conditional logic can be applied to them to show or hide them depending on other selections. And if you scroll down to choices, you can add or remove these different radio buttons 
You give them a label, for example, small, medium, large, or extra large, and you can add an additional price to any of these sizes, or you can pre-select one as the default option. But I'm not recommending you do this for this example, as it will kind of give away the conditional logic before the customer has made their selection. Of course, write a suitable description, and this can be to give the customer a little bit more information in case they're a little bit confused about not seeing all the color options at once. And I would recommend making it a required option so that the customer must choose a size before they can proceed to checkout. Then click on Save Changes. Close that option and add a new one. In this case, I will edit the one I already have. This will be the first of two different color swash palettes. So I'm going to give this one a name, choose a color for small or medium. I'll choose color swashes, which act very similarly to radio buttons, but you can see you also select the color using the hex code. You can give the color a label, and again, you can add additional pricing for each color if you want to, or pre-select one by default. In this case, I don't think a description is necessary, as customers can understand what they need to do here, but you do have the option to display just the colors only, or the labels and the color swatches. So it'll display the name green and show the color green. I would also make this a required option, so that customers must choose a color before checking out, then click on Save Changes. Now click Close option and then click Duplicate to create our next color palette. And then edit that one. I've given it the name Choose a Color for Large or Extra Large. And again, I've chosen to display that. It's the same as before. We have color swashes, but here's where I've got different colors. So I've created a whole new palette of colors for this option and repeated the settings from before. Now click on Save Changes before moving on to the next step. We can now enable conditional logic so we can first hide and then later reveal the color options based on the customer's selection. Open up the first color option again by clicking Edit Option and scroll down to the advanced settings and toggle this on so you can see conditional logic. Now we want to show this option if any of the following match. This is because there are multiple choices that could lead to this option being revealed. The option we need is choose a size, the comparison equals, and the value can be whatever you want it to be, in this case, small, and then you will add a new one using this button here. Click on the same options, choose a size, equals, and then your next value, in this case, medium. Click on Save Changes. Close that option. Open the next one. And repeat the steps. Click on Advanced Settings. Show this option if any of the following match. And then choose your same options here, and then for value, it'll just be the other options, large and extra large. And once again, save your changes. Note that you can play around with the show or hide option, as well as the any or all option, to create the kind of conditions that you precisely need. For example, you may add other option types that also need to be selected in order for the colors to appear in which case you would use the all condition. We've seen everything on the back end, but now let's check the front end to make sure our conditional logic is working properly. So to view this product with the new options applied, go to all your products, find that product in the list and click on view. And here we can see the t-shirt, which is a simple product in the WooCommerce backend, but with the addition of our plugin, we've made it a variable product with conditional logic. So here let's test out if I choose small or medium, we get our first color palette. And if I choose large or extra large, we get our second color palette. 
and note extra large has an additional charge applied to it. Then I can choose my color, and finally I can add as many of these as I like to my basket. While this may not be the best use case for conditional logic, I hope I've illustrated today just how dynamic this feature can be. You can get really creative with it, and I'm sure you're already coming up with a bunch of ideas for how you can use it on your own site. Remember, you can try out the plugin's admin demo by clicking this link right here. Or if you want to learn more ways to use conditional logic on your website, then I'd recommend watching this video next. And of course, thanks for watching.